Spaghetti Amatriciana, a traditional pasta dish from Amatrice near Rome. A simple tomato sauce flavored with red chili pepper, crispy guanciale, and finished off with pecorino cheese. Fast, easy, and delicious. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for more classic recipes like this from Italy and beyond. Guanciale is cured pork cheek, while pancetta is cured pork belly. Italians are attentive to which of these two are traditional in any given recipe. Like other traditional Roman pasta dishes, carbonara and gricia, guanciale is the cured meat of choice. In this video, we follow the most recognized version of the recipe, published by the Amatrice Chamber of Commerce website. We start by infusing a bit of olive oil with red chili pepper. Some people leave out the olive oil and use only the grease from the guanciale. However, the official recipe does call for a bit of olive oil. Then we add guanciale cut into strips, frying it over medium heat until it is evenly golden and crispy. Spaghetti amatriciana is one of several simple pasta dishes from the region of Lazio, where Rome is found. In fact, it's thought to have originated from another traditional dish called spaghetti alla gricia, which is essentially amatriciana without the tomato. A bit of white wine to deglaze the pan, and we remove the crispy guanciale for later. The white wine removes all of the delicious guanciale flavor from the bottom of the pan, so it can flavor our sauce. And in goes the tomato. For maximum flavor, here we've used whole canned tomatoes, removing the seeds and water and blending the pulp into a chunky puree. This is a common trick that Italians use to be sure their tomato puree is extra sweet, because whole canned tomatoes tend to be sweeter than many of the jarred or canned tomatoes sold as chopped, crushed, or even puree. Simmer the sauce for a few minutes, salt to taste, then add the guanciale back into the sauce for another minute. And it's time to remove the pan from the heat. We finish the dish off with pecorino cheese and the spaghetti, cooked to al dente. Interestingly, many of Rome's innkeepers in ancient times were immigrants from the nearby city of Amatrice. So much so that matriciano came to mean innkeeper with kitchen. The dish spaghetti alla matriciana is now considered one of the traditional pasta dishes of Rome, even though it probably didn't originate in Rome. We add a bit of the hot pasta water to help melt the cheese. Toss the pasta with the sauce. Finish with more cheese, and it's time to enjoy. <music> Discover other Roman pasta dishes with our videos on cacio e pepe e spaghetti carbonara. If you learned something new or like this video, click the thumbs up button. Buon appetito!